This way, folks, this is a wedding hall, and it is a Saturday, a hot Saturday, cooling down now, and uh, it's it's a day for weddings. There's loads of weddings everywhere, and uh, I'm Kevin, but you know that. <laughs> so um, yeah, and oh, you can see here, this is all all set up. This is like this area kind of by my place, um, and there's a lot of wedding halls. So this is uh, ready for the group picture, the group photo. Um, yeah, so so there you go. And um, this area I'm gonna walk through is uh, just it's a, it's a street filled with like wedding halls, and there's a lot of them. Um, yeah, so it is a beautiful day, and uh, I just haven't had the time, guys, to make a lot of videos these days. Um, I plan on putting one up on Boost on Kevin uh, um, in the next few days. I have a good idea for a series I'd like to make, but to be honest, I'm kind of putting my energy towards a... I'm starting a podcast. Uh, the t I've talked about this before, but I'm actually getting off my butt and doing it. So I've researched some stuff, and I've already recorded the first episode, and um, I just bought a domain, a dot .com, uh, for my, my show, and I'm going to be setting up my website. So I'll be setting that up in the next week. And trying to get my show up on the iTunes store, up on iTunes. And uh, I hope to do like a weekly podcast. So uh, the goal is right now, I think Wednesday will be the day. And uh, it's going to start off, you know, being like 10 minutes or so. And it'll go from there. And it's just going to be me. Um, as much as I, I love working with other folks, um, I find it's, it's sometimes really difficult to depend on other people for just because of scheduling things, you know, when you have different schedules. Now, you always know where you're going to be, but it's sometimes hard to hard to get other people's schedules to line up with yours and whatnot. So, so I'm going to do this one by myself. Occasionally, I might bring people on, um, but that's not really the model right now uh, for it. So I put a lot of like thought into it. And I even like wrote out a plan and, and and drafted like a plan for this and put it down on paper and kind of it makes a lot more sense to me that way. So uh, here we go. There's all a lot of wedding halls all over the street in front of me, around me. And you can hear a speaker in the background. That is, uh, it's election time, national election coming up soon, so people driving around announcing things. Um, it's a lot of weird music. So this is a, I think this is a clothing company here, but wedding hall, wedding hall there, wedding hall, wedding hall here, 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 wedding hall down there. It's like wedding halls everywhere. Yeah, crazy. So when I got married here in Japan, I didn't get married at a wedding hall. I got married at a, a Shinto shrine, actually. So, very traditional. Listen to that music. I'm being pumped out of the speakers in front of the wedding hall. Um, yeah, so there you go. <laughs> so I haven't done very much vlogging lately at all, just due to lack of time. So, um, you know, here we go. A little I, iPhone thingy. Ah, oh, check out these dolphins. Aren't they beautiful? Chrome dolphins with uh, is is that dolphin have laurel? Still laurel, yeah. Well, that deserves that 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 piece of art deserves a a video on its own. Um, yeah. So you know what? I haven't given a shout out in a long time. Well, I haven't made many videos in a long time. I want to give a shout out to a friend of mine, a good old friend of mine, Lonnie Jones. And uh, this is not a YouTube friend of mine. I mean, this is a, the this guy I've known since I was. Oh, 20 years old, I guess? Um, yeah, in the, the mid-90s, I met this guy back in Cape Breton, Nova Scotia, where I grew up, and when I was an undergrad, and, um, you know, I was an aspiring musician, and uh, I guess that didn't work out, huh? <laughs> I was an aspiring musician, drummer, and this guy had been a professional drummer for many years, and I met him, actually, through kind of like a mutual love of, of nature. Some other friends of ours, we had some mutual friends, and we used to go camping together and hiking and exploring and hanging out in the same coffee shops together. It was really awesome. And uh, he's a really awesome guy. And uh, he's been, um, he, he was a, he's a kick-ass drummer, an amazing musician, and uh, he's really been embracing technology lately, and he's gotten into YouTube, he said, inspired by me. <laughs> There you go. Um, and he's really into Twitter and stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you, Bonnie Jones, uh, go watch him. He's a cool guy. He lives, he's got nothing to do with Japan. But, you know, I really like this guy. He's, he's an awesome, he's awesome people. Very, very interesting man. And his YouTube channel cycles most, uh, focuses mostly on cycling. 
because he's really big into to cycling, and he does a lot of cycling around Cape Breton, and he's hooked up a camera to his bicycle and films a lot of the, the roads and whatnot around his place, and talks about cycling and, and stuff like that, so a really interesting guy, like, he's um, an amazing, amazing professional drummer, the best drummer I've ever personally known, um, he's a Reiki master, you know, very cool stuff, he knows a lot of really interesting things, and a, a, a wise man. So uh, what I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to put his link down below, Lonnie Jones, go check him out, a guy who, a guy who lives in Nova Scotia, Canada, makes really interesting videos, I think, uh, I'm biased though, so go check him out, go subscribe to his channel, um, and uh, I'll, I'm going to put his Twitter link down below too, he tweets quite a bit, and he's got some fun, interesting tweets, so if you're into Twitter, the link's below to his Twitter, and uh, the link's also there for his uh, YouTube channel, I'm going to leave an annotation for that too, so go check out Lonnie, good friend of mine. I'm going to leave you off with uh, this giant blue box of a building here. This is Ikea, or Ikea, as they say. And there's a train. There's the light, the light rail system I take uh, to work every day and get off of Port Island. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's computerized, automated. No drivers on that puppy, which really freaked me out when I first got here. So there you go, folks. Take care from Kevin. And um, I'll let you know more about the podcast when it, when it comes together. So hopefully in the next few weeks or so. And there you go. So, oh, and by the way, guys, the podcast is not going to be about Japan-related stuff. It's a Canadian-related one. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, you know, uh, for all you Japanophiles, uh, hope not to disappoint you. But go check it out anyway, you know. If you're Canadian, you'll possibly dig it. If not, well, yeah, come and check it out. If you're interested in Kevin, um, check it out. So, see you guys. See you later. Who's on Kevin here? j Kev, Kev, Kevin. Um, coming to you from a really quiet, boring place in Japan. Alright, later.